Oh yeah, that's nice. Welcome back guys to this thing, which is, I don't know what, I'm full of coffee and I'm completely tired, but still full of coffee. Yes, I'm still working on the smart boozer. And wow, I still have a lot to do. On the last episode, I built a subframe for the engine. But now I still have to finish the front, add the bushing on the steering rack, build all the links for the rear suspension. There's five per side. Machine the main shaft, machine the flange bushing to connect the CV axle make an extension for the sprocket on the engine, uh, make a chain cover, modify the gear for the reverse, fabricate some supports for the front of the engine. This is not done yet. And then I will have to install um, all the links, push bar, shocks, uh, the engine itself, and the sway bar that I don't have yet. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. One thing at a time. I will start by fabricating and installing the bushing on the steering rack, and then I will be able to complete the entire front suspension. And yeah, fuck you, eh? So now it's time to build some links and I will use a welding rotating machine that I built myself a year ago for that kind of purposes.
and I'm done. Um, almost done. If it wasn't for the tab that I broke, uh, I would be done. But uh, these five are not tapped yet. But I've got 24 right hand tap uh, bushing or sleeves and 14 on the left end. So I, I'm having more uh, right hand because I'm going to use it for the wishbones. So there it is. That took a long time, but now it's done. So this is a small um, rotary welding setup that I made or machine that I made, made out of uh, CNC plasma cut uh, plates and 3D printed parts with an old drill and with a couple of gears made uh, 3d printed out of pla i get a good reduction ratio i've got rollers they are adjustable in length on the shaft right here and they are adjustable in dimension so i can if i wanted to i can weld a big wheel if i want to do like a an offset wheel I can use this, I made this jig so I can um, install the handle for the plasma cutter and I can position it so I can cut into a wheel and then roll a slice of steel welded back to the wheel so I can make myself custom wheels with whatever offset that I want. Alright, that's it. was really getting there at the end um, unfortunately I think this is the last part I had to weld um, playing with the feed and speed I think I get a pretty good result um, this is a two pass well it is pretty hot oh, okay yeah all the links are now completed and I even did the paint on it um, this is a small screw up I did on the links when I built it at first. Yeah, what, what I thought is that I can I can screw those hind joints and lock the nuts, the jam nuts, by uh, screwing in the opposite direction. But since this is a left end and this is a right end tread, uh, they both lock in the same direction. Like I'm unlocking, I'm locking, but it doesn't work. I don't want to cut any grooves. This is only one eight thick walls, tubing, so no grooves. So what I did is I cut some slice out of a uh, square tubing and then I just forced them in place and weld them on. And now I got a flat surface to put a bigger wrench and make sure that I have a good grip to really lock those jam nut. You know, because maybe having a bit of safety here. Let's uh, get back to work. I've got 14 to do, so. Hey, it's Christmas. Woo. Is it Christmas? I don't know, but maybe it is. We received at least two inches of snow on May the 4th. Yep. Let's open those packages. Ooh. Ooh. Cheap parts. 
la pièce de résistance. Yeah, I, I looked on eBay and Amazon and buying a complete pedal box would it cost me more than the cost of the car that doesn't make sense at all for me so I know I'm gonna have two for uh, the braking system one for the front and one for the rear and I'm hoping they will do the job because kind of my life is depending on it so eh. and I'm gonna do a complete video on the pedal box how I built it why I built it what I choose so stay tuned like subscribe you know the drill but seriously guys my real pay is when i get nice comments that you enjoy watching my videos that you are entertained and you, you learn something or you think i'm crazy of building such a stupid things which i am thank you stay tuned i just can't wait to do my first burnout and film it and start the car and oh my god it's gonna be ah! Okay, next package. This is gonna be sick, man. Okay. This is to complete the rear assembly. I'm gonna need this one and these two. Yes. Looking good. So these bad boys are for the main shaft. It's an inch and a half shaft. Um, that I will mount CV axles on both sides and the sprocket. And the smaller guy here is to take the load of the sprocket from the engine. It's pretty beefy for the purpose it has in hands. I think it's gonna work great. That's it. Christmas is over. See you on 2021. I'm super stoked. This thing's gonna be sick, man. Yeah, so far so good. Um, just a couple of issues here and there, but not, nothing major, so. 
And the next part will be to fabricate the main shaft that will go here. Uh, on one side I will have to weld on a flange and on the other side it's gonna be a removable flange, so kind of a big bushing. And then I will be able to fix uh, the CV axles on both sides. So that's the next part, so let's get back to work! It's summertime! Woo! That was that. That was a, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fabrication here. There's a lot that has been done, but there's still a lot to do. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Aventador. I don't know. Good, that's it for me. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, c'était GQ Course, le tracteur à gazon du Québec.